Ice Texas next to last weekend in May, and it's going to be a little on the cooler side than where we regularly or normally would be this time of the year. We should be in the mid 80s. We're going to be in the upper 70s this weekend. I got to tell you, though, as we head toward Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start to summer, right? It does look like it's going to warm up for that holiday weekend. And just a sneak peek at the 10 day forecast, it looks like we could be dry, which is almost unheard of in East Texas for late May. Kind of have some rainier periods here into the end of the month, and then eventually that faucet shuts off as we get past about the first week of June. All right, so over the weekend, a stray shower is possible. It'll be cool. Morning lows in the mid 60s, daytime highs right around 77 degrees. There is a 20% chance for perhaps an isolated shower Saturday afternoon. I mean, these are few and far between, so I'm not really worried about Saturday being suddenly ruined. If you have a graduation party or something planned outside, it should be fine. It'll just be a little on the cool side with the north wind. And then on Sunday, 79, mostly cloudy, and we'll have, um, I don't think much of a way of chance of rain at all. The humidity will be dropping Sunday, so it's certainly going to be comfortable. All right, looking at those rainfall reports, and again, we keep talking about this. Just because the more surplus we have in the soil before we head into the dry season, which will eventually come our way in about three weeks from now, uh, we want to have that surplus. And so if we don't get much rain, say in June or July, then the, uh, the, the moisture can evaporate out of the soil, but it'll take longer to do that. And as that evaporation process is occurring, it cools the air slightly. And so instead of having 100 and plus degree weather several days in a row like we had last year, we may have a 100 degree day here or there, but at least it'll mitigate the intense extreme heat that we saw in 2022. So with that in mind, looking at March 1st in Tyler, since March 1st, about 11 and a half inches of rainfall in Longview, about 12 and a half inches of rainfall and in Lufkin, 16 and three quarters of an inch of rainfall. Compare that to average from March 1st until today, we are doing better than average and since January 1st also doing better than average in all of the gauges. So those are some good numbers to look at. 20% chance of rain Saturday, Sunday, no chance of rain Monday, no chance of rain Tuesday, 20% chance of rain Wednesday. It's a 50% chance of rain. Then Thursday, a 20% chance of rain and a week from Friday we have as we head into that holiday weekend, it is looking dry. Current drought index released on Thursday. No parts of East Texas are in a drought closer to the Dallas area. This is abnormally dry. Abnormally dry is not considered a drought category. Moderate, severe, extreme and exceptional are. And you'll notice southwest of Austin, we start to begin getting into the exceptional drought category in that part of the state. All right, rainfall outlook over the next seven days. And a lot of this is confined to Friday night. So most of this is going to be Friday night, maybe a little bit. Uh, coming up on Wednesday, but the heaviest rainfall Friday night overnight into Saturday here along the I-30 corridor. Some rain makes it down to I-20. Otherwise, the next seven days, if you add it all up, it's about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. That's not a lot compared to where we've been so far this month. But remember, on average, May is the rainiest month of the year. The rainiest six weeks of the year from May 1st till about the middle part of June and then things begin to shut off. All right, so next week, again, looks like a quieter weather pattern for many of us with fewer chances of rain. And the reason is this, we'll call it a zonal flow here. So we have west to east winds across the area, ridge of high pressure to the south, essentially a large area of high pressure over the middle part of the country. Storm systems are being pushed up and away from the nation's midsection. As a result, this is where the severe weather ribbon would be. The strongest winds aloft are over the northern plains into the Great Lakes. We have weaker flow aloft here across the southern plains and Texas. As a result, we don't have a lot of uh, tremendous amount of lift in the atmosphere, lower shear, and so the severe weather threat is also lower. Speaking of lower, lower temperatures head our way by Monday, 58. That's about seven degrees below average. Then we're back to 61 for a morning low on Tuesday. And as we wrap up the final week of May, temperatures are right about average for the end for the mornings. Then as we head toward Memorial Day weekend, it starts to warm up. We'll have a morning low closer to 70 by Memorial Day. Uh, same holds true here for daytime highs cooler over the weekend, closer to average by Monday. Rest of the week, a gradual climb with daytime highs approaching the lower 90s by next Saturday and Sunday and Memorial Day right now, a high of 90. 
with mostly sunny skies or partly cloudy skies. All right, so here's future sky cast. I'll start this Saturday. Uh, again, an isolated shower can't be ruled out. You might see a little blip of green pop up from time to time across East Texas. But again, that would be really few and far between, very brief and not a big factor in your weekend. Sunday morning, cloud cover, northeast winds, temperatures in the 60s, warming into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So Sunday is a coolish day. Nice day for yard work, nice day for golf. I don't know how great of a day it would be for you know swimming in the lake. The lake water temperature is kind of cool in the water and the air temperature will be a little bit on the cool side. Northeast winds continue into Monday morning. We'll have temperatures in the upper 50s for dates of morning lows, maybe low 60s by 7 a.m. and then warming on up here. All right, wind and wind gusts on Saturday. So winds are going to be a little on the refreshing side out of the north at about 10 to 12 miles an hour throughout the day. And we get into the afternoon hours and we start to see the winds gusting closer to 18 miles an hour. So a little gusty by the afternoon. Uh, just keep that in the back of your mind. High temperatures Saturday are going to be in the mid to upper 70s under cloudy to partly cloudy skies, maybe closer to Lamar County. We could see highs around Paris of 77 degrees, closer to Cass County, cloudy skies about 77 in Pittsburgh around 77, Mount Pleasant, Mount Vernon, also seeing highs around 76 to 77 degrees. All right, in our central counties, uh, Upshur and Wood County, 76 to 78. Mineola could sneak up to about 78. Could see some rays of sunshine at Canton, also at Palestine, with highs in the upper 70s. Jacksonville, few rays of sunshine, 78. Cloudy skies over in Panola County near Carthage, 78 degrees. Also in Harrison County near Marshall, about 78 degrees. Deep East Texas, mix of sun and clouds, maybe a few more rays of sunshine near Crockett, warming the temperature up to 79 there. Groveton up to 82. Lufkin up to 82 and Nacogdoches closer to 82 degrees, while Center and Hemp Hill would also be around 82 degrees. All right, here's your Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine Joint Hospital 10 day forecast. And I think what you'll notice here in the overall trend of this 10 day, we'll go uh, day by day through this, is really the very small rain chances except for next Wednesday. So mostly cloudy, 20% chance of rain Saturday, a high of 77. Comfortable morning low Sunday, 62 79. The high in the afternoon, mostly sunny on Monday. Morning low 58, daytime high 83. Mid 80s on Tuesday, mid 80s Wednesday, but this time a 50% chance for scattered thunderstorms. Then a 20% chance of rain Thursday. And then the Memorial Day holiday weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Right now, data leaning away from any kind of rain, maybe a 20% chance of rain by Monday. That's not out of the ordinary, but highs warming close to 90. Have a great weekend, everyone.